much Do it all over again So give me a call Five oh, Call us both Party lights flashes in the rear Law enforcement Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 29th of July, 2021. Thank you to Sheriff Nate Harmon, the Berkeley County Sheriff Department, for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature theft, custody issues, threats, a report of suspicious odors, and a police assist. To all of our fans in Israel, we would like to say Toda Raba. I mean, you can get down under the bridge, yeah. but there's a path that'll take you down there too. So. <laughs> Come on, Remember when this was all flooded out? Nice to meet you. Um, you know, collecting cards since I was, you know, with my dad. So it was a significant yeah. collection. I don't have any receipts. Yeah, I mean, you don't get receipts when you buy shit like that. So yeah. I really don't have any way to prove it. Guesstimate, probably ten to $15,000 worth of. Oh, I know. Of, I know her collection. Right. You know, oh, I, know. I mean, I had all the way back to, you know, Montana, Jerry Wright, like all the big names. Yeah. I had them all, you know, so it's. The money thing is there, but the fact that that was me and my dad's thing, and he's passed now, yeah. so that's that's what pisses me off the most. Yeah. But before we went to the beach, I changed the lock on the door downstairs. It's just the spare room that nobody uses. Yeah. That's where I had everything. Well, somebody took something and broke the lock off because the indoor lock is still the same, but the outdoor lock is the old lock that I took off. Yeah. So obviously somebody broke it, got in the room, took what they took, and now it's gone. The door's been locked. Nobody's broken into the house. So it's either, and she told me that her son's been here. And since he, I kicked him out at 21, 22, he's selling weed out of the house. There's people in and out all hours of the night. I had enough. You got to go. Mm -hmm. He swears I took $600 from him. I'm like, dude, I make 800 a week. I need your $600 for it. Excuse me being a pill head. Yeah. So whatever. I smoke weed. I ain't gonna lie. But pills just ain't my thing. But, uh, so I don't know whether he took it because he thinks I took his money. Or is that you? 
Oh, okay, I thought my phone was still on. <laughs> um, so I don't know if he took it out of spite, if her new boyfriend, which I, my family, I mean, this, as soon as you come around the curve, everything over here is family. My cousin lives right there. Her brother's, my ex's brother's been by. They've seen him here sitting on the porch when his son's playing in the yard. You know what I mean? I know dude's been here. He's your build, but about yay tall. And I, I, I don't want to go to jail tonight. I already got two felonies. I don't need no more. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that's what I was trying to explain to you on the phone. And oh, I know yeah. you was trying to, that's what I needed. I needed somebody to be like, this yeah. is the way you need to go about it. Uh -huh. So I've been in contact with a lawyer. Uh, I got a meeting, I think Friday with her. So okay. yeah, hopefully she. So we're we're criminal, we're mm -hmm. criminal stuff. Not but most of us don't know a ton about the lawyers. I mean, with with uh, divorce. And, right. Well, you gave me more information than I knew. Um, but yeah, we try we try and give you as much direction as we can. But he'll or, or she'll the lawyer will she'll be able to give you okay the best direction what to do. And she'll she'll probably tell you what, what I told you. Just document everything, see what she's taken. And I know like I had like four or five colognes, which you know whatever, yeah. gone. Uh, my PlayStation's still there. Her cricket's gone, which and my cards are gone. So to me that says she's pawning them because she's back on drugs. I know she was doing a little bit here and there when we were together. Got progressively worse. That's one of the main reasons we split up. Mm -hmm. um, when did you guys split up? Uh, phew around the first of the month. Okay. Um, is there any... So you haven't been here since the first? Uh, here and there. My mom lives back the road, so I was here, you know, I'd, I'd walk down, there wasn't no cars here, I'd come in, you know, feed the dogs and all that and then leave, but like the house is a mess and I don't think they cleaned up the dog. It's, it's bad, but I haven't been here for, I haven't been in the house for like a week, so. But uh, is there any, there's no way I can get her, like even like a physical thing, there's no... Me like if she assaulted me, if she assaulted. I can't you? get her to not come here anymore. What? What do you ask? I'm sorry. Um, if, if she hit me, if she hits you, you, I mean, there's yeah, you can go to the courthouse and you can get a FPO against her. Okay, and then she can't come here if I'm here. That's all she gets served. That's okay. She, it, so wait, for that, you need uh, obviously a reason to go to the courthouse. Okay. Fear of safety. Right. You need to be. You. Need, I mean, it's legit for a guy to do. Okay, too. it's legit. Cause I, I've never hit a woman in my life, yeah. and I wouldn't. You, you but you don't want to be hit, and right? You don't want anything to go right. Go any worse. So it's it's legit. Okay. So I, I mean, the, the courthouse and let them know. The deal was we were at JT's up here on in Darksville yeah. for my birthday. I got face drunk and ended up falling asleep outside, and she's going through my pockets trying to get my keys. We got into it back and forth. I'm yelling. I'm I cussed at her. She cussed at me. I called her some names. She called me some names. Yeah. And she hit me like four. I mean, I'm laying on my back with my eyes closed, and she hit me four or five good times. I mean, there was I don't know five, ten people out there that witnessed it. Yeah. Most of them are her friends, so they probably won't admit to it. But um, yeah, so yeah. I mean, you, you can always try. What you, okay. What you, what you do? Obviously, you, you're going. Are you meeting the lawyer at the courthouse? Are you meeting them at their, uh, their office? It's in the scales down here on King Street. Oh, okay. I used her the first time I got divorced, got so. It. So, that was a lot easier. She just left and took her shit and never came back. That was a lot easier. Easy right. Um, so you go to the courthouse and tell me you're actually in the FPO or a safety order or something. Okay. Uh, you don't scare your scared of your wife. You don't I mean, she's got a she's got a pistol and I got two felonies, so I have nothing. Yeah. You know, so that kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah. I don't want to be in here sleeping. And, just, and this this call is documented. You know, with the, right. Okay. With stealing stuff from you. Okay. Like right. I said, it, it's one of it's it's her, her son, or her new boyfriend. Yeah. So and I know I don't know him personally, but he looks like a fucking dopehead. Yeah. So um, and she was on the shit before, she got clean before we met. Yeah. Slowly into it. She uh had anxiety, so the Xanax and then couldn't find the Xanax, do this, couldn't find that, do that, you know, and it just it spiraled and spiraled until yeah, it's it was progressively worse. You know, yeah, so but, but yeah, so Bring all the information you can to the courthouse. Okay. I mean, do you want to go in and look around, or have, it doesn't? It doesn't. I don't have to go in. Oh I mean, shit! All right. Well, then I'm sorry I called y'all out here. Oh, you're good. Okay. Um, dispatch called me and let him let me know that you wanted me to come out here. That's, okay. That's, well, that's I told him about there. the shit that was missing, and yeah. you know that's what she said. Well, I have someone come out and document or whatever, yeah. so I didn't know. Yes, yeah, fine. I don't, I don't what that until explaining stuff to you. All right, that's cool. Uh, for it, like I said earlier, it's it is marital property. You guys own, own everything. Right, it, it but sucks. I'm gonna win that. I'm not gonna lose the house in the end, right? 
I mean, you purchased it? Uh, actually, this is the house I grew up in. My parents owned it. Oh, Once they, okay. It won't go to her. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that was the It's house. not going to her. Okay. In my opinion. Right. I mean, um, my house, the house was built in 75. I was born in 78. And, you know, my parents got older and they didn't like the split foyer and all the stairs so they built a house on the back of the property yeah. and they was like you know if you want to live here it's right. paid for yeah. cool so there you go yeah you should you should, you should get the house but that, that'll that'll be a little longer in the right in the process i understand you know, get that before it's finalized and all that stuff so okay but with the proper stock and everything and when you go see your lawyer okay and start the divorce right that's what you mean cool bud um Unfortunately, I can't do anything for you right now. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Of anything criminally or legally, I, I can't help you out there. Well, I didn't know, you know, the, I mean, it's theft, really, because... Yeah, it is theft. Okay. So it, but it's criminal, yeah, not it's civil, it's, I understand. Uh, yeah, it's civil. I got you. You and your wife. No, nah, somebody kicked in the door and stole it, then that's exactly. you, right? Okay. Yeah, 100%. I got you. Um, so, yeah, I, just, I hope it's just... Real, she realizes she shouldn't just come back here and... Well, I'm... Unless you're going to Weeks before, here. you know, she would leave, come here, you know, I was just fucked up about the whole thing so i laid in the room and was just fucking out of it for a while and she would come home two three o'clock take a shower do her makeup hair and out the door and then i wouldn't see her again until the next day yeah and then you know when i she wasn't staying here i'd ride by because like i said i live up the road go to the store get cigarettes no car here no car here no car here and then i talked to her brother today and he told me he saw a dude sitting on the porch and his son was out in the yard playing and i was like if you want to stay here, she's got a daughter, yeah. not with me. So I felt bad that she didn't have a place to go. So that's why I left. Yeah. You know, I tried to be the that bigger person, good. try to be a nice guy. I had somewhere to go, but secure. if she's going to do like that, then yeah. yeah, you're a guy, you understand. I agree. Um, and I mean, I've seen the post on Facebook and I've got screenshots, all that to go along with, you know, yeah. to let them know that much as much information as you can bring, okay. bring to the courthouse and the lawyer. He'll, It'll hopefully work out in your favor, man. Okay. Okay. Cool, bud. All right, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Y'all be safe. Thank you. Have a good one, man. <clears throat> Lord. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Yeah, there is. There's little, what, four or five of them in here. Jeez. This is the shots. Somebody shot a dog or something? There's one. I'm dipping out. <laughs> got 18 of them here. Right? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Four Berkeley. One thirty four, go ahead. Just confirm the land for the number five one eight six. Uh, Bill Beer at me first, okay? And then um I uh pulled into my house and come around the turn and then he stopped in front of my house and asked me if I want to I said, Well we're in the road, buddy. I said fucking get out of the car and book let's go. He proceeded to go forward turn around and then come down the road about a hundred mile an hour and got to go me and him away from me uh, and then veer towards me and then swerved hard as he could back over the other side of the road and then he stopped again and he said i'll be back tonight he said watch the back and then they just really walking down the house three times and that four door cummins and he's been sitting there for about 45 minutes now he's in there back there like 110 percent i'm not trying to deal with it dude if it was one-on-one -on -one, it'd be one thing you know what i'm saying i got a four door I literally drove by the house up there. If you don't live there, I think this is his parents' house. I drove by the house, they told me to sit down and threw a beer up and um, walk down the yard and threw a beer at my truck. And that's where it all started at. And I gave him a finger, I pulled him down here, and that's when he pulled up. We got a few words exchanged to go up and turn around and try to get into it. Did you get a license plate? No, you guys just missed him, like, as soon as you pulled in. He walked through here? No, he went that he way. Sitting, he like, just here, went up, shoot. made that right, and just went back out the neighborhood. Okay. Like, literally, as I just ran over here. I took care of it. It's a four-door long bed Cummins. Silver. 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 Yeah. Right. yeah, I took care
بدم آن دشرت در سابسون کنی رو که بودی به نیوی Chihuahua. <laughs> okay. He's a mean old thing. Oh, I got you. Go! You won't have to be scared. Go! You can come in. What's that? Come in? You can come in. So you always know over here, right? Yeah, my dog got a great dog. What's, what's going on? I have custody of her two kids. What do you have paperwork? Yes, I do. All right. We also have a camera crew with us. Is yeah, that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Is that okay? What? Do you have a camera crew with us? In my house? My house with birdies. No, six. Okay. All right. How are you doing, son? No, I'm not upset. I just really want to know what exactly what's going on because every time she, the, my daughter's been down my mom's house with me for almost two months and a half, now. and now all of a sudden you want her to come home for random reasons. I'm trying to figure out why. She keeps telling me she has custody. She has custody, but you never want to show the papers. So it had to come to this for you to actually say what you had. I think what I got out of the situation was that she's trying to allow your daughter to have time to build a relationship with you, but the daughter, maybe you together, I, I'm not sure, I'm just what I took of it is maybe taking more time than what she's comfortable with based on her guardianship. That, you know, from this day to this day is what she's agreeing upon and then it ended up becoming longer to a two month span and she was not comfortable with that. So if you're looking for something that's more she then a visitation, you're going to have to go to court for that. come down the house for days at a time. She's been down there all summer. So now, all of a sudden, she has to come down there for three days out of a week. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do, but at the end of the day, she was given the right to make those decisions. So yeah, okay, you're but looking now, to do that, what I was saying was things. now she's granted that I had to do all this to get you guys to come out here. She would not let me see no court papers or none of that before. So now I know exactly what she has. Yeah. And she made a little bit of fault, but at the end of the day, it's yeah. now it's said she's okay. she's guardian. Um, now for you to get guardianship back, mm -hmm. you can go down to the courthouse. Yeah, that's what I plan on doing. <clears throat> and you can go down there and get a copy of that too. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm sorry. Um, so 
Now you know what to do. You go down there, you can get a copy of that. I'm sure you can. It's, it's, it'll be in the records. And then, uh, you know, I wish you luck. Thank so, you. Yeah. She's your daughter, but she's yeah. probably in for a okay, while. Okay, I process. appreciate y'all coming yeah. out. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.